Hi, I'm Cassie J. LaCourse, and I'm here at Legendary Beads in Austin, Texas. And I'd like to talk to you today about making wire wrap jewelry for earrings. So today I'll be using 26 gauge wire. Typically for earrings, you'll be using 22 or 26 or even 24. For this particular project, though, I'm using these beautiful rutilated quartz and the top drill hole in them doesn't take a 24 gauge, it only takes a 26, so that's what I'm going to use. I've already made a couple of scroll elements that I'm going to use for these earrings today, and I have my two ear hooks. So we'll take our first bead, and with a top drill, what you want to do is give yourself about two inches of wire. You're going to have a short end and a long end, and you're going to bring the two wires together at the top so that they crisscross right above the cross. You're going to take your chain nose and you're going to grasp both wires and you're going to utilize the bead to twist the two wires together. So you can see we've got a twist that's right at the peak of the bead. I'm going to take my cutters and I'm going to cut that tail off and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to make a loop out of it. I've already got a 90 degree bend but if your wire isn't bent what you want to do is put a 90 degree bend in it and you're going to take your round nose pliers and you're going to actually make a loop. I'm going to bring the wire over the top of my pliers. I'm going to twist my right wrist just a bit and I'm going to tuck the tail underneath, creating a loop. Now remember, I'm attaching this loop to something, which is my scroll. So I'm going to put my scroll on. What you do is you kind of wait till it clicks. To get a nice click it's on there. And since I have such a nice loop, I want to make sure that I stabilize that loop. And what stabilizing is, is you actually grab the loop all the way across both sides so that you can really work with this wire below. So I'm going to take my chain nose pliers, I'm going to grab my wire by the end, and starting at the loop, I'm going to work towards the gemstone. And what this does is I'm actually utilizing the wire to cover the original twist. I'm going to wrap it several times around because I like the design element of that. You can stop at the top of the bead, but I've got the wire and I figure why not. So I'm going to trim my tail off, take my cutters in there. These are not getting in there as close as I'd like, so I've got these guys. Then I'm going to take my chain nose, pinch that tail under so that it doesn't get caught on someone's, in this instance with earrings, hair or scratch them. So I've got a nice dangle, this beautiful rutilated quartz dangling from a scroll. Then I'm going to take my ear wire and again my chain nose pliers and I'm going to open by just pulling towards me just a little bit. I'm opening that ring up so that I can actually put the wire on there, put it back into place. You always want to bend, always want to bend rings this way, never this way. If you do it this way, it loses all of its strength. And there. I have a beautiful scroll gemstone dangle earring. So these are the finished scroll earrings with the beautiful rutilated quartz. And then these are some other designs that you can use wire wrap techniques to make. And that's how you can create your own wire wrap earrings.